chapter 2, Mishnah 7. The Torah says that Peah is to be left when you harvest the harvest of your land. In Leviticus chapter 19, sentence 9. This indicates that the Peah obligation applies only when you harvest your land. Accordingly, the Mishnah will teach that crops that are cut down in ways that are not your harvesting are exempt from Peah. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. A field of crops that a non-Jew harvested for themselves, or that robbers harvested, or that ants chewed, or that the winds or animals broke down, is exempt from the Peah obligation because in all these cases the crop was cut down in a way that was not your harvest. The Mishnah teaches further. If he, the owner, harvested the first half of it, and robbers har harvested the second half of it, it is also exempt from Peah in its entirety because the Peah obligation for the first part of the harvest is left in the crop that is still standing, which, is, which has now been cut down in a way that does not require Peah.